new piece of artwork can be seen in Stanley Park. Eagle's Nest was created by master carver Richard Krentz of the Seashell Nation. The carving features the traditional and familiar forms of the eagle, the whale, and the bear. It was carved in Krentz's workshop in Klahauya Village over the past three months from a three-ton piece of maple that was downed in the 2006 Stanley Park windstorm. It gave us this idea of bringing the spirit alive in the old tree and helping, giving it that new life by putting the designs on it and by doing the ceremony by literally tens of thousands of people have danced around this uh, and held hands in public. You know, it's not that common that you see people holding hands, but this thing seems to have some sort of uh, uh, kindness to it that people really want to be part of. Stanley Park also has a new addition, another work of art created from the rubble of the devastating 2006 windstorm. It's the second sculpture by Seashelt Nation master carver Richard Krentz, who's already transformed an unsightly tree stump into a wood carving that reflects his native heritage. His latest creation, a three-ton piece of downed maple tree transformed into a trio of traditional creatures. Andrew has that story. At Clahoya Village in Stanley Park, a special ceremony marking the unveiling of Coast Salish artist Richard Krent's latest carving, Eagle's Nest. Today, this symbolic piece was resurrected. It gave us this idea of bringing the spirit alive in the old tree and helping, giving it that new life by putting the designs on it and by doing the ceremony. New life because this tree was one of thousands uprooted during the Stanley Park windstorm back in 2006. For three months, Krentz volunteered his time transforming this piece of maple into a work of art. Well, the inspiration came when we sort of made a commitment as carvers here in Clahowie to only carve waste wood, things that they couldn't use for lumber or anything else. So it, the inspiration really is more than just the art. Where this thing here, the tree, is my partner, and it, I can only do so much. This isn't the first carving to be unveiled in Clahoya Village. Last August, another tree toppled by the windstorm was transformed by Krentz into a raven. These aboriginal pieces symbolize more than just art, though, but a connection to native culture. What we plan on doing with this is helping leave this piece here uh, long after Klahawia Village closes for this summer anyways. And so it's just to keep building the relationships and building the awareness and helping um, people that visit here understand uh, that the culture is alive and it's, it's not a museum culture. It's living today and there's artists celebrating our culture for many nations every day here. It's amazing how other cultures interpret our art and it's so beautiful to see people come in and, and become uh, uh, a friend of it in a way and have their own feelings. Feelings that inspire strength and a new beginning for generations to come. beautiful piece of art created from the remnants of a natural disaster was unveiled today in Stanley Park. The sculpture called Eagle's Nest was carved from a three-ton piece of wild leaf maple. It came down in the 2006 Stanley Park windstorm. It features an eagle, a whale, and a bear. At its unveiling today, carver Richard Krentz led visitors in a life-giving ceremony to awaken the sculpture spirit. You know, it went through so much trauma, and to be able to take that old piece of wood and revive it with our dance, we do a dance around it to bring the, the spirit alive in the tree and the spirit alive in myself, and it was just an incredible experience. So the artwork sort of became almost secondary to the feeling that everybody got about bringing this old tree back to life. The Eagle's Nest is on permanent display in the Stanley Park Miniature Railroad Plaza. Well, a beautiful piece of art created from the remnants of a natural disaster was unveiled today in Stanley Park. The sculpture called Eagle's Nest was carved from a three-ton piece of wild leaf maple. It came down in the 2006 Stanley Park windstorm. It features an eagle, a whale, and a bear. And it's unveiling today. Carver Richard Krentz led visitors in a life-giving ceremony to awaken the sculpture's spirit. You know, it went through so much trauma, and to be able to take that old piece of wood and revive it with our dance, we do a dance around it to bring the, 
the spirit alive in the tree and the spirit alive in myself and it was just an incredible experience so the artwork sort of became almost secondary to the feeling that everybody got about bringing this old tree back to life and the eagle's nest is on permanent display in the stanley park miniature railroad plaza beautiful yeah mm -hmm. it's really beautiful yeah i can't wait to get down there and see it absolutely i went on the train not long ago but it, that wasn't there yet but so i'll have to go back a new piece of First Nations art for Stanley Park was unveiled today. The carving called Eagle's Nest has its roots in Stanley Park, literally. The piece was carved from a three-ton piece of wild leaf maple that was downed in the 2006 windstorm. Sculpted by master carver Richard Krentz, the piece will be a permanent addition to the park's landscape. Krentz says he hopes that visitors are moved by his artwork. The nicest part about it is to be able to tell a story and allow people to interact with that story so it's not totally defined that they can see things in it too and I think that's what I like about Stanley Park is there's so many diverse cultures come here and they all look at things a little differently visitors were able to participate in a traditional ceremony that featured a dedication a joining of hands and a spiritual song to wake the spirit of the sculpture <laughs> Une œuvre d'art toute particulière a été dévoilée aujourd'hui dans le parc Stanley. Il s'agit d'une sculpture réalisée à partir d'un érable déraciné lors de la tempête de vent de décembre 2006. L'œuvre du sculpteur Richard Krantz s'intitule « Eagle's Nest ». L'artiste a voulu célébrer les formes imparfaites de l'arbre, ce qui a donné un hybride d'un érable et d'un totem, avec les, les symboles de l'ours et de la baleine à la base et d'un nid d'aigle à la cime. Pour Richard Krantz, cette œuvre symbolise l'humilité et la tolérance envers les autres, mais il espère que chacun saura découvrir sa propre interprétation. La sculpture vient compléter la collection du village autochtone Klahauya. Tree destroyed by the 2006 Stanley Park windstorm has been brought back to life by a master carver. This carving here was chiseled by Richard Trent and is from a three-ton piece of a maple tree blown down during that violent storm. It's named the Eagle's Nest and is on permanent display in Clayhawi Village in Stanley Park. Thousands of trees were uprooted or torn apart from the windstorm back in December of 2006. I have a partner in the design and that's the tree itself. We don't normally carve these kind of trees. It's maple, it's not cedar, but we made a commitment here in Clayhawi Park to carve waste wood.